What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KFX. I'm back here with another video, and today we're gonna talk about yesterday's game. Yesterday I didn't get to talk about it how I wanted to talk about it because I was in the car. But uh, yeah, y'all. Yesterday we did lose to the New England Patriots, and uh, I don't see a lot of upset as you know. I, I don't see a lot of people as upset as me about it. You know, that's all I can really say. And I don't know if I'm just not patient enough, or if every other Dolphin fan is just used to losing at this point. To the point where um, they just don't care no more. But I'm, t I, I just, I, I don't, I don't know. But I will say this: a lot of people have been telling me K Flex is just the first game of the season. Bruh. I don't care if it's the first, the fourth, the eighth, the ninth, the sixteenth. We have to win. When we get to the end of the season, our, and, and we're one game out the playoffs, are they gonna say, let's let's say we on a hot streak? Let's say we win the last seven games of the, se uh, 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 of the season, but we had a bad first half. You know what I'm saying? And we're one game of the playoffs, even though we're a great team at the end of the season because we're winning all these games. Are they going to let us in the playoffs? If we won game short of the playoffs, are they going to say, oh, week one, you know, every, you know they, everybody wasn't ready. It was only week one, so we should just let them in the playoffs. No, they're not. They're not going to let us in the playoffs. Okay? You got to win every game. This is not the NBA. I don't know why. I don't know if Dolphin fans think that you can just throw away games. Like, oh, oh, it's just this game. This game don't really matter. Every game matters. It's the NFL. Sorry for yelling. No, I'm not. Bruh. It's the NFL. Every single game matters. So when you tell me it's just the first game of the season, how could you be mad? Because every game matters, especially when it's a 16-game season. It's not the NBA. If, or it's not the MLB. If it's the MLB and I was a Yankees fan and we go 0-1-1, it's whatever. It's 100 games or whatever, 200 games. NBA, it's 82 games in the regular season. This is the NFL. It's 16 games. Every game is super important. So, I don't want to hear it's just the first game, bro. I, I don't. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. We're going to talk a little bit about the game. And I fear, guys, the, the title of this video is going to be did the Dolphins go too far? And also, we're going to talk a little bit about Devontae Parker's injury. So, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about Devontae Parker's injury first, and then I'm going to talk about the second topic. But Devontae Parker is injured, and this is the thing with Devontae Parker, man. A lot of people, uh, and I can really speak for myself on this subject. A lot of people say, Devontae Parker, uh, y'all almost gave up on him, Dolphin fans. Devontae Parker's a beast. Y'all should have believed in Devontae Parker. And I, I know some people did, did think Devontae Parker was a bust, Okay. Until last season, and, and they start loving him again. Here's my thing. I always knew Devontae Parker was good. Nobody, uh, well, I can speak for myself, and you guys can let me know in the comment section if you guys agree with me. But nobody was saying Devontae Parker was ever a bust because of his skill set. So that is misleading to say you almost gave up on Devontae Parker. He's good. Oh, my goodness. Dolphins fans didn't know what they had. Oh, we know he's good. But he can't stay healthy. This is the first game of the season he tweaks his hamstring. I don't really get mad at injuries if they happen. Nobody wants to get injured. So, I, I'm not mad at Devontae Parker, but I'm just saying if you're wondering why Dolphin fans call this man a bust, that's why. And I'm not calling him a bust. I'm just saying, when, when we're talking about Devontae Parker, we're saying, I don't care if we get rid of him or, or he's not good, whatever. It's his injuries. It's not his skill set. His skill set's always been there, but this is what we're scared of. Him regressing back to the injury-prone Devontae Parker. Last season, he played a lot of games. This season, he's already hurt after week one. They say he might have to miss a couple of weeks. He re-aggravated his hamstring, so those take a, a while to heal. Hope he gets better. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm not mad he got injured. I'm not mad at Devontae Parker from getting injured. I'm just saying that if you are looking in from the outside of Dolphins Nation, or if you, I, I can't speak for everybody in Dolphins Nation, but for myself, if I ever say Devontae Parker's a bum, it's probably because he don't be on the field. That's what I see. It's never because of his skill set. Now, but I don't, I don't think he's a bum. I'm just saying. Now, <clears throat> that's all I got to say about Devontae Parker. I hope he gets better soon. He's he one of my favorite double players right now, and hands down. Hands down, okay? And I, I think, you know, hopefully when he gets his hamstring right, this is be the only injury. All right? Now, <clears throat> let's get into the main point I want to make this video, and that is, um, did the Dolphins go too far? And... You guys are probably looking at this video and saying, what do you mean, K-Flexing, did the Dolphins go too far? And I, when you watched the game last night, I was not so mad that we lost, even though I'm mad that we lost, yes, of course. But also what infuriated me even more is how we lost, right? We didn't make Cam Newton throw the ball. 
He was 15 for 19 with 155 yards. He threw the ball, sleds, check downs. He didn't have to throw no deep balls. He threw a couple of nice passes, but he, for the most part, he didn't have to throw no deep balls. We got these cornerbacks making all this money, and we didn't make him throw no deep balls. All right, and when he did throw a deep, it was probably because it was on zone. And I don't know why we was ever running zone. People say, oh, you, you got to run zone because he can run. No, you can run man and put a spy on him. You don't have to run zone. You just don't, okay? Run man, put a spy on him. It is what it is, okay? Cam Newton is not the reason, passing the ball is not the reason they won this game. And if that was the reason they won this game, maybe I would be able to take it a little better, even though I would probably be mad as hell at our secondary. But I could probably take it... They won this game how everybody knew. They like how everybody knew the only way they were gonna win this game is if they ran the ball, and that's what they did. We didn't even stop them from doing like I, I would have much rather have lost because Cam Newton somehow, somehow turned the back the hands of time and was just throwing the bitch downfield. I don't wanna lose to a team that you know can only run by them running. You know what I'm saying? You didn't even make them adjust, and I just Yes, it's the first game of the season, but it's their first game of the season, too. It's their first game without Tom Brady in 20 years. Well, not, they had Matt Castle that year. But, you know, for, you know what I said, for the most part, it's their first game with a mobile quarterback, like, in 20 years. They had to get a, like, they had mad pullouts in camp. They did. They had a lot of people pull out and didn't want to play. Like I said, every team is going through all this. It's not just the Dolphins. So, I don't want to hear no excuses about, oh, we didn't have training, we didn't have preseason. They didn't have preseason either. So, yes, I'm mad about every loss. That's just facts. I don't care. If you don't, if you don't want me to be mad about a loss, then I, I, I just, it's never gonna change. So, anyways, we let them run the ball, and and and, and, and the, like I said, the way we lost was was grueling. They ran the ball every single play. They were tougher, and we just could not stop them. Let's see. When you look at the time of possession, 34 minutes to 25 minutes, they held the ball longer than us. They were able to run it down our throat, and there's nothing we could do. The turnover battle, we lost that 3-0. to zero, And yet the game was still close. And when I said the game was still close, it's not like we didn't get dominated. Because at no point in that game did I feel like we were going to win. It was a slight sliver of hope whenever whenever uh, Jordan Howard scored a touchdown. But they dominated. Like, it was no point where you said the Miami Dolphins are in control of this game. There was no point of that. Because... They just ran the ball, 87 to 217 rushing yards. They just ran the ball and got wh whatever they wanted. Now, it's hard for me to gauge this and say, are the Patriots just a really good running team? Or are we just really bad because we have no other games to base it off? We'll figure that out. But it just looked like we were soft. And when I say that the, that the Dolphins go too far, I'm talking about with this speed over everything approach that we've taken. This DBs over everything approach we have taken. Have we got rid of our toughness? You're not going to tell me during that game that you wasn't like looking like when we was getting ran on over and over again, you're not going to tell me that in your head you didn't think for this, even if it was just a split second, Rayquan McMillan would really help right now. But we got rid of Rayquan McMillan. I'm not angry about it because it was probably his last season with the Dolphins anyway. But... I know definitely in my head, I was thinking in my head the whole time we could use Ray Kwame Miller. All right? And it's like we have all these defensive backs, and we, and we run nickel most of the time, nickel and dime and all type of stuff with, 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 with a whole bunch of defensive backs and no linebackers. And it's like if a team is running on you like this, you need to put linebackers in the game. If you cannot trust your linebackers, then why did we get rid of Ray Kwame Miller? Because Ray Brown Miller can stop the run. And I just hope this is not a continued pattern. Now, we play the Bills next, so we're going to see. We're going to get answers to this. The Bills are usually a grounded, pal, tough team. If they bully us like the Patriots did, Miami, we have a problem. Bruh. And it's that we cannot stop the run. <laughs> now, also, the Bills last game, they threw about 50 passes. So, who knows if they're going to come out trying to run the ball. But if they do and we cannot stop them, we have a problem. Okay. Christian Wilkins had some nice plays. Kyle Van Noy, I did not see our game. I forgot he was on the team. Uh, Jerome Baker made some nice plays. He fights, but it's like, do we need another linebacker that could, that specializes in run stopping? I, I don't know if we have one. We have a lot of speed, but we have a lot of toughness. 
you can lose to teams that you're way better than just based off them running the ball. You know what I'm saying? The easiest way to beat these teams, bad teams, is that you make their quarterback throw the ball. We make Cam throw this ball, the game goes completely different. We don't make them throw the ball, they run the ball every single play, we can't get a stop, it's hard to watch, and we lose. Another issue I have with the team is that we was not getting pressure. Like, the way this defense is constructed, we might have just... Listen, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say we did yet, but it seems to me after the first game, if I'm based it off the first game, we went too heavy on cornerbacks, and the rest of our defense is not up to par. Okay, we got a great cornerbacks, but I promise you they're never going to matter. We can have Deion Sanders, Darrell Revis, and Richard Sherman in the secondary all at the same time, all prime players. If they, if the line's not getting to the quarterback, they're useless, okay? Because I don't care who you are, you're not guarding NFL receivers for 10 seconds, all right? It's just not going to happen every 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 play. So we got to get to the quarterback. That's up to Kyle Van Oyen now. So, I didn't see that a lot in, the, in, in, in this Patriots game. I just think we got out-schemed a lot. And we have their coaches, so there's no excuse for that. I didn't see that in this Patriots game at all. I, I didn't see us, like, it, we just, it, it, they just looked a lot tougher. All right? So, I don't know if we messed up by getting all these, like, fast players who obviously don't have no strength because they wasn't fighting in the run game. Or if it was just a one-game anomaly and for the rest of the season, we will actually stop the run. You know? Because right now, there's like, we got all these cornerbacks, and they look good. It's like we got a Ferrari. We got a Ferrari, the cornerback, the secondary is, is, is the outside of the Ferrari. And then you lift up the hood and there's no engine. Bruh. That, that's how, it, because let's just say the, the D-line is the engine. We don't have no engine. So what good is a Ferrari, okay? That's that's basically what I'm trying to get out. The secondary is a Ferrari, but they're no good and they don't have an engine. That's just facts. That's how it looked. You know, we're going to have the greatest secondary of all time get fried because we cannot get to the quarterback and that's an issue. Let's hope it don't last, okay? It is despicable to lose to a team in the way that you know they want to do. You know what I'm saying? We didn't lose because Cam Newton had a great passing game. That's not why we lost. He was 15 for 19. He did make Brady look like a system quarterback. Because that was Brady's stats last year. What Cam put up. So it's like, dang, if Cam could do it, maybe Brady was a system quarterback. But we cannot lose games by allowing teams to do exactly what we know they're going to do. Nobody in the whole, like, nobody, I know nobody in that in that watched that game yesterday thought that, oh, the Bill Belichick is going to try to air it out with Cam Newton. To who? To who? Like, nobody, everybody knew he was going to run the ball every play, and that's exactly what they did, and we lost. All right? Get in the comments and let me what you guys think about this. Um, Brighter days are coming, though. I have confidence. We're just over one. It's going to get better. I'm just speaking my mind, okay? Get in the comments and let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, roll the night, Kettle Wiz, Flexing. I'm out.